G'day Fisho, Sammy here, and today we're tying the PR knot. Now, I used to use the PR knot a lot, but I haven't used it in a few years, I use the FG now. So, I've got the expert in the field, I've got Kyle. Now, you may remember Kyle from some of our videos. He's done the fast jigging video with us, and also the bait ball snapper, two epic sessions. Kyle, mate, you use the PR. Tell me about it. Um, I do. It's just, a, in my opinion, a more simple way of tying an improved FG knot. Um, improved. I, I, it. <laughs> um, I like these things because I find I can tie them quicker than an FG and um, I find they're actually a bit stronger. Um, especially when it comes down to you having a pretty epic fishing session, you want to be in and out from tying knots, especially after a bust off or something like that. Um, there's obviously a few different ways or tools you can use to tie them. Um, Sammy's got a Jigging Master PR bobbin. I've got a shiny one. A shiny one. I've got a not so shiny one that's been used a hell of a lot. Um, but these things are worth their weight in gold in my opinion. Um, I don't go fishing anywhere with that one, just because I so much rather tie PR knots than FGs. So we've got our bobbins. I'm mm. going to step out. I'm going to get behind the camera. We're going to leave Kyle to his mastery. Yeah. There's a pair of scissors, mate. We've got some heavy braid. Can't use the rope with this one. And we've got some 200 pound jink eye. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get it nice and tight. This is how to tie the PR knot. You. All you do is feed your tag end of your braid through the uh, little guide at the front, and then feed that through. And I like to leave maybe 30 centimeters of tag end because all you're gonna do with that is um, you're gonna wrap that around your little tensioner, and then all you do is yeah, basically just wrap it around until you're satisfied with how much you think you'll need. I like to pull it off and maybe another extra 10 centimeters just to know that it's locked in. And then once you're happy with the sort of tension or wrapped around the actual tensioner, um, you've got most, most PR bobbins have it. There's like a little rubber um, lips that lock the extra bit of tag end in on the tensioner. And all you do is just pull that in nice and tight and that's gonna prevent your actual PR bobbin flying off when you're doing your wraps around your leader. Basically, where I go from here, once it's locked in and you're happy with it, um, I pull it nice and tight so everything's taut, and then you pick up your leader in whatever hand you prefer, and um, basically, I try and work off maybe six to seven centimeters from your fingertips, and then all I do is grab my leader for maybe oh, a couple inches down from the very tag end, and then I just gently start to wrap it, wrap it down, and then you'll look if you look nice and closely, the loops from the start get loose. Oh, they're, they're, they're wider, and then that starts to bind a bit tighter down the end. And then all I do from there is I give it a couple of little um, flicks, and it just sort of helps start the process of um, locking everything nice and tight in. And then from there, all I do is I sort of position my hands in a way where I can pull and keep everything nice and tight. All I'm doing is pressing my fingers up against the um, the tensioned spirals, and all I'm doing is about to start the process of winding the other way, and that's just gonna tension the whole um, the whole knot for you, and then the friction is gonna do the rest. So, <laughs> a bit like a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> and basically, I try and keep my uh, wraps within about inch and a half to two inches tops, because you don't need to, and it's just more you have to pass through your guides. And then all I do from there is I'll pull my PR bobbin off and then I've got a good tag end. And then you're basically finishing your knot off like you would an FG. So you run the alternating half hitches there? I do, I do. Just keeps you not looking a bit more pretty. And as fishermen, prettiness is everything. And how many alternating half hitches do you do? Uh, normally, I would do probably between eight to 10 um, on the way up, and then I'll finish it with maybe five to six, once you've got your tag end bird off. So basically once I've done the first part of my hitches and I'm, I've done roughly eight to 10 there, um, all I'm going to do is trim off my tag end of the actual leader to where I'm sort of happy with it. So trimmed off there, and then you've got your little tag end at the end, which we're going to burn a bit later on to stop your half hitches unraveling. And all I do to stop that 
happening is um, I'm gonna continue my hitches up to the main part of the braid. So you see how the hitches are running up the actual main part of the line now. Um, I like to run my half hitches up till they're just above the tag end um, of the actual leader. It helps prevent um, that tag end running through your guides poorly. So it basically tapers your whole knot. So when you're retrieving your lure or whatever you're doing and it runs back through your guides, it'll run back through a lot smoother. I'll do them up till just above it. So basically, once I've done my half hitches up past the tag end of my knot, all I'm going to do is trim my tag end off. So that's out of the way, out of the picture. So the, the knot's nearly done and it's looking quite clean and neat, which is how I like it. All I do now is I burn my tag end back so it creates a little burr and it's um, that's just going to prevent all half hitches um, sliding off your tag end through just pressure. I lubricate the knot so it doesn't actually affect the braid. And then once I've done that, I just burn the leader material back till it creates a little ball. And once I'm happy with where the little ball is sitting, I let it cool for maybe two, three seconds. And then all I do is just tap the end of it and it flattens it off a little bit, as you can probably see there. And that is just gonna lock everything down. So nothing is going to come loose. Well, there you have it guys, that is the PR knot. So there is a bit of, little bit of technique involved, but once you get the hang of it, you can whip them out, no worries at all. So thanks Kyle for coming in. No worries at all It's guys. a sexy looking knot. And uh, guess what? It's time to go fishing. Alright guys, have a good one. Have fun out there. Stay safe. Catch you next time. Catch up.